Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to another video, and today we are going to be going through a box of pennies. Wow. Alright, so anyways guys, so I got four boxes of coins from the bank. I got three pennies, three nickels, or three pennies, one nickel. And today we're going to be going through our first box of pennies. So I already checked this box for Enders, and it didn't have any, just so we could have a little bit more time to hunt. And, yeah, let's get started. Hopefully we find something good. Oh yeah, also, finally decided to wear some coin gloves. I knew a couple of you guys were yelling at me to wear coin gloves when I coin or hunt. And it's probably a good idea considering I get my uh, hands really dirty. And I can also get some of my finds really dirty. So, um, I'll take that as, I'll take that as a good criticism right there. So, I'm gonna start our hunt. Here we go. Alright guys, a few rolls in. Looks like we're under our first reedy. This one's pretty beat up though. Look at that thing. It's very beat up. It's been through a lot. Let's see what the year is though. 1950D. 1950D. I'll take a weedy though. It's the first one of the box. Let's keep on hunting. Alright, so we're in this roll right here. And right here, looks like we got a weedy. Very cool. This one's another really beat up one. I don't know why all the ones I've gotten look like they've been through shredders. Probably another 50s one, too. Uh, it's got a decently high relief on it. Let's see what the year is. Oh my goodness. Is that what I think it says? What the heck? Okay, that is absolutely not what I expected that to be. Holy cow. Okay, um. Well. Should we check for VDB, I guess? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what the heck? I did not expect this to be a 1909. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's flip this coin over. Pretty sure it's not gonna be one. Just saying. Yeah, it's not a VDB, it looks like. The more I look, the more I hallucinate and see VDBs on the bottom of the coin, so I'm gonna stop looking at it now. Anyways, holy crap, guys, that is the oldest wheat I've found in a box. 1909 first year issue wheat send. Wow, guys, I did not expect that out of this box, so. Search through the rest of the roll, make sure there's nothing else, but. Wow, that is awesome find, guys. I'm so happy I found that, and I'm so surprised, too. I thought that, for sure, that wheat penny was gonna be like a 1957 or something. Crazy. Let's keep on hunting. Alright guys. Next, very next roll. Got another weedy. This one's actually not too bad of shape. Still got a little bit of luster on it. And it's got some nice toning as well. Let's get a closer view of that thing. I like that pink toning. 1957D is the year. It's also got a little toning on the front too. This is... Our third weedy. It's a nice find. Let's keep on hunting. We're actually doing really good so far. Very cool. I'll take it. Let's keep on hunting. Alright guys, so I'm on probably the 12th roll. And it looks like I got another wheat penny right here. So here's our wheat penny. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look shredded like the other ones did. Well, it does a little bit. It does look better. It's probably a 50s one. 1946D, not too bad. It's definitely nicer looking than the other ones. I'll take it. It's our fourth wheat penny in the box, and let's keep going. Alright guys, it's getting late, so I'm starting to have to 
speed up my corner hunting, so I'm stopped time lapsing for now. And look at this weird roll. There's a lot going on here that's really weird. So we have this weird thing right here. I thought it was a coin, but it's actually just a thing. I have no idea what that is, but I want it out of my sight right now. That thing is disgusting looking. Ew. Uh, actually, it might just be a rubber band. I think I'm fine. I won't die from contamination or anything. Anyways, guys. Uh, I saw an edge that looked like it was like broken in half. So I picked it out and it's a 1940 wheat penny. What happened to this thing? <laughs> looks like it was hit by a lawnmower. That's exactly how it looks. Or someone tried to cut through it with a knife. Poor thing. I'll give it a home anyway. Let's put it in the wheat penny pile. We got five of them so far. And keep on hunting. Oh, got a 1959. You. Alright, guys, so we're on roll number 17. And it looks like we got another weedy. Let's see what it is. 1958D, last year. Still counts as a weedy, though. And it's gonna go into my collection, so that's pretty cool. Let's keep on hunting. Alright, guys, like two rolls later, another wheat penny. And I was careful not to look at the date because I saw a worn edge or rim of a coin. And I was quick to flip it over. So let's see what the year is. It looks like it could be from late 30s, early 40s. Ooh, nice. 1930. That's a good year. I was negative 88 years old at that time. Very cool. Or something like that. Anyways, that's awesome. Pre-40s wheat penny. It's not even that common of a year either. So, put that in the wheat scent pile. We're at seven wheats already, guys. My average is on on uh, penny boxes is only five to six wheats. And uh, we're on roll uh, 18s, and we've already had seven. So, uh, we're already above average. Guys, this is going to be a good hunt. Let's keep on hunting. Man, guys, we're doing really good. Next roll. Got another weedy face down. Let's see what the year is. Probably 1946, 1958. A little off there. I'll take it though. Eight weedies on the box, guys. And we are only 19 rolls through. Make sure there's no weedies or anything else. Let's keep on hunting, guys. We got a wheat scent facing up. 1958. It's very black and looking. And the back looks like it was shredded as always. So, that totals up nine wheats for the box. And we're only on the, I think, the 22nd roll. Very cool. Let's keep on hunting. Back to 2009. Looks like professional years. Nice. This roll is pretty nice, guys. We've got two 2009s in the same roll. Very cool. We've got a formative years and an early years. Very cool. I'll take them. Another 2009. It's a nice one. Very cool. Let's keep on hunting. Finally, guys, we finally got our next wheat. It was like 15 rolls until we found our last wheat. Well, since we found our last wheat, it was been about 15 rolls. For some reason, the second half of the box is kind of just shut off compared to the first box, or first part of the box. Anyways, guys, let's see what the wheat is. This one looks like it's probably going to be 40s. Anyways, yeah, it looks like a little bit of cut as well on that weed edge right there. Let's see what it is. 1937, that's better than I expected. I'll definitely take that. Very cool. Let's put that in our wheat penny pile. So that would bring us two 10 wheat pennies in the box. And 
Porsche is a 1959D right next to that wheat penny. Alright guys, so we finished that box. And as you can see, we had quite a few finds. So, let's start with the foreigns. We had five Canadians. I won't really go into the years though, because there's nothing too amazing. No young heads or King George's or anything. And then here's the era coins I found, or at least the varieties. These are all pretty off-center coins right here. These two are copper, and these ones are uh, nice, nicer zinc pennies that are offset. And then here's nice cut air coin. As you can see, there's little pieces of Lincoln's chest, little literally like everywhere. As you can see, there's little dots under the 82. There's dots all, kind of all over the coin. And now let's go on to the uncirculated coins. These are just some nicer 70s and 60s coins that I had found. I'll probably only keep some of them, though. And I'll throw some of them back in the pile, the ones that aren't quite up to par with keeping. Anyways, here's what we also have. We also have 2009s. We got um, eight of those. We got four um, early years. We got three formative years and professional years. So now here's some of the just the nice toning ones that I had found. Probably won't keep all of them. I'll keep some of them though. And they're all very nice. And here's just a pile of 2019s that I decided to keep. And I'll probably look through every one of them individually, see if then any of them are keepers. And I might keep a few of the really nice and circulated ones. And now to the Wheaties. We had 10 in that box, which is really good, considering my average is usually only 5, 6, or 7 Wheaties. And let's see what the years are. So th these are the 50s that I got in the box, starting with uh, 57. D, 57D, again, and this one's in pretty good shape, it's also got some nice toning to it, a 58, 58D, and a 58D, now into the 40s, we got a very beat up 1940, and then 1946D, now for the 30s, we got a 1930, and a 1937, and we got 1909 first year issue wheat scent, look at this. When I found this, I was not expecting it. I thought it was just going to be another one of those shredded looking 50s, just like that one. But yeah, too bad it's shredded though, because you probably would have been able to see some de detail if it wasn't shredded. You can still see some of the wheat ears, even though this was put through a shredder. And it's not like, it's got a big edge to it as well, it's not a thin edge, like... Many of the other worn pennies are. Yep. Unfortunately, no VDB, though. On the bottom. That would have made it worth a lot more, considering it would have been a semi-key date. Oh, yeah, and here's the find of the hunt. Beautiful MS-65 shield scent. It's in great shape, as you can see. Beautiful condition. Definitely a keeper. Anyways, guys... I hope you guys enjoyed the hunt, and if you guys want to see more of this, make sure to thumbs up the video. Also, make sure to go check out the 300 sub giveaway if you guys haven't done that already. And uh, make sure you guys comment, because I will always respond to those. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.